Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. Today I am looking at this Timoon, or Timoon, I think Timoon, MP3 player. Um, on Amazon, this is called a Hoko MP3 player, but I'll leave a description below, a link to it, so you can have a look at this uh, on the Amazon website. So just to give you a couple of stats on this actual player, it's got a maximum of 128 gigabytes it says internal memory I don't know if that's true or not but we'll we'll soon find out so it's got 120 gigabytes uh, of internal memory um, it can have up to I think 32 megabytes of additional storage as well it's got a pedometer function built into it for when you're walking around it's got Bluetooth 5 uh, it's got a clip on it and it's got a built-in FM radio and it's obviously an mp3 player so they're kind of the basic things on it it's supposed to be lightweight sorry it supports 128 gigabyte additional cards so that's the um, additional storage for this as well uh, it's got a long life battery so it lasts up to uh, approximately 20 hours of playback from um, 1.5 hours of charging so that's pretty good and just so you know i bought this to pair with these headphones which i'll do a separate review of but inside you've got this kind of matte black box again very very simplistic and that's the player really really small footprint Pretty light and it's out so up close you can see it's pretty tiny um, got these little clicky buttons which I like I don't like they kind of touch buttons I prefer to have something that's tactile and on the back you've got the volume up and down and you've also got this nice clip so it looks like it's got 32 gigabytes of internal memory um, I think because these are from like China or somewhere, the description is pretty poor. Um, little SD card there on the side for 128 gigabytes, which is great. Um, and then on the top, you've got a little power button, which seems to power it on. So English for me. And then we've got music, video. I don't know why you want to watch video on this, but Bluetooth, FM radio. Pedometer, you can record as well. Ebooks, again, I don't know why the hell you're reading this or even looking at pictures, but yeah, um, setup and stuff. So, yeah, really, really basic player. Had some good reviews on Amazon, so um, I'm hoping this will do the job and compare with those headphones really, really well. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up using these for the next few weeks, and I'll add on to the end of this video my kind of personal thoughts on this. So just to add to inside the box for the MP3 player, um, you've got a few clips in here. They also include a charging cable, which we've got loads of, but nice to have included it. And also a pair of probably fairly cheap generic headphones. Get that in focus, are they gold tipped? Uh, yes, they are. Oh, no, they are. No, they're silver, but yeah, um, I won't be using those anyway. But um, yeah, nice looking piece of something, and obviously it's a pretty basic instruction guide. Welcome back to the second part of this review on this MP3 player. I've been using this now for two weeks, and I thought I'd give you my impressions on this device. I have been really, really pleasantly surprised with this MP3 player. It has worked really, really well for me, and worked very well with the Bluetooth headphones that I've also purchased with this, which I've done a review on. Again, I'll leave a link below to those. If you need a set of headphones to go with this, I recommend those headphones. They're very good as well. So this has been great. Um, I found it works really, really well, and I quite like a lot of design elements on this. So the first thing I found that's really useful is this little clip. So I like to clip this on the inside of my pocket. Now the only downside I found is that it is a great little clip and it clips in really well, but there's no locking feature on this device. So in other words, on my old MP3 player, I could switch it on and I could press play, but then I could lock it so that if I press any of these buttons, it doesn't get affected by my, you know, my pressing of any of these things. It's locked in place, but there is no lock on this. So if you do accidentally press forwards or backwards or play or pause or whatever, it will obviously, you know, It'd stop you from listening to your music. So I found that's a little bit of a negative that it would have been good if it had a keyboard lock on this to stop you from pressing anything. But that's only happened a few times and if you have this on like the outside of your pocket um, it's probably less likely to get something pressed um, whereas I tend to have this on the inside of my pocket and sometimes you know your, your shin or something can press it if you're on a leg press machine or something like that. So that's the only downside but if you have this clip to your lapel or on your t-shirt or something or somewhere else on your body it probably wouldn't be the problem. So that, that's only a minor thing. Um, so when you switch the device on itself, you just switch it on by 
switching the little arm switch, which I quite like, it's a manual button, so you can't just accidentally switch it off. And um, this has obviously gone into music player mode already. But what normally happens is when I um, um, switch the, the, the device on, I have to go into, if I just press this button to go back, you will see that there is um, an option over here, if I just go right, to go to Bluetooth. So what I do is I go into Bluetooth, I put my Bluetooth headphones, I get them straight out of the case, put them on my head, and then go into here, and then I literally click on the um, option to um, search for a Bluetooth device, and then it goes in there, finds my headphones, and then I just hit once on the play and it will connect. So that's how you connect to your Bluetooth, and you have to do that every single time you, get, you open up the device and actually start it from fresh. So each time you go to play music, if you switched it off, you have to go through that process for it to reconnect. And it takes a few seconds, um, and that's fine for me. Now some people might not like that, they might want it to auto-connect, but it doesn't do that. So you have to go and select it each time. And then you can simply just go back, use the back button, to go back to your kind of main section here, and then all I do is I drop into music, hit play and that takes me straight into my you know all songs and I can skip and shuffle and all that kind of stuff. So that works really well. The battery on this has been fantastic. You can see after two weeks of use, um, it's only gone down to kind of like half. Now I use this for about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half most days, right? So that's that's most days I use this and I'm incredibly impressed with the battery on this. So now to be fair, I did plug this in probably a week into using it and I must have dragged and dropped maybe about 20 songs onto it. So that may have boosted the battery a bit, but but to be honest, I think it would last at least, sort of, sort of I'm thinking at least seven days for full charge uh, and before it runs out. So that's been great and that's worked really well. In regards to putting tracks on this, Again, works really well. Plug in the, the little micro USB, stick it into your USB on your computer, and just drag and drop into the files folder. And it's got a files folder that says things like music, video, um, and, you just, and I just dropped it in there, and that's worked really well as well. So that's worked great. The interface itself is pretty easy to use. So the only thing that I've used so far is playing music on it. I don't use the radio on here, even though it does have a radio. I tried it out once, the radio works fine, um, and that's no problem at all. The sound settings on here, again, are pretty good. So you can go into music. Um, you've also got um, over to the right, if I go into like the pedometer, again, something I haven't really used or not really bothered about.